Queen of Hearts Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. And I'd like to apologize in advance for having a cold and sounding kind of like a frog. So slightly off to one side, I'm going to be sculpting a heart with red acrylic. I'm going to do it into halves, so I'm going to start with the one half, place that down, and then sort of pull it out into the point, and then immediately add the other half and then work on sculpting those into my heart shape. And you don't want the heart to be right in the center and you want it to be close to the top of the nail but not all the way up because you're going to put some stuff above it so yeah off to the side and down just a pinch there you have it so now let that red acrylic set i mean really 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 110 percent set so that it doesn't mix with your white acrylic here and turn it pink because that wouldn't be very good at all and you also want to leave a gap above your white that's just a little line or a reverse French tip. And so now we're going to be filling in that reverse French tip area with just a little bit of yellow acrylic. And I'm just going to wipe off the excess. So now I'm going to be filing and I'm going to use a 150 grit file. And you're going to want to mainly file over the heart and then over that um, the line between the, uh, the yellow and the white to reveal all of those lines that may have gotten covered up with another color. And now I'm going to be encasing the nail with a layer of clear. And the reason we're doing this is this is the clear is going to add some strength. It's going to glue all of these different sections together and it's going to be where you're going to build your nail structure and make it smooth. So file it once again and then buff it with a nail buffer. So now to paint your queen, you're going to start with blue paint. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to outline the line between the yellow and the white, just with a thin line. It's going to sort of be our frame. Ugh. And then I'm going to do just the basic outline of her face. So it's sort of like a large U shape. And then I'm going to start add some of the hair detail. So just add some um, swoops that go from like the middle of her forehead to the side of her face on either side. And then add some more hair half circles um, down on the side. So then um, that's like the side for where her dress is. And then create the line for her neck, her neckline of the dress. And then I'm going to be painting her face. And I'm going to start in the middle of her face with her nose. This is a good place to start because you know that that's in the middle and it keeps everything nice and spaced. And then do an eyebrow and then do her eye. And then repeat the steps on the other side for the other eye. Add a smile. And a couple lines on her chin. And one more section of hair. So now I'm going to be blacking out the design that's on her dress. And you can paint any design that you'd like. I would suggest just sticking with the colors red, yellow, and blue. Those are the colors that are normally seen on playing cards. And I'm actually copying, or not copying, but um, inspired by a picture that I found on the internet of Queen of Hearts. It's not exactly the same, but it's what I used as my inspiration. But you can use whatever you like. So first I just went in with some yellow and then some blue, and I'm going to be filling in some of the gaps with red. So above in that in that yellow area that we painted before, or that not we painted but we sculpted um, at the cuticle, I'm going to be writing the word queen. I'm going to start with the first E because that is the center letter and that keeps all of your letters spaced so that everything has this, the right amount of space. And now I'm going to be adding details to her dress. I'm going to start with that wider yellow section and I'm going to just paint several lines going across it almost like um, music. Um, written music and then I'm going to create a checkered pattern in the lower part of it so just create all kinds of perpendicular lines through the first set of lines that we made and then fill in every other square with black and above the checkered pattern I'm just going to add some dots 
So then below, I'm just doing all kinds of goofy designs, and I would love to explain each of them to you, but I don't know if I can, because my voice is going to disappear on me. So basically, you can see that I'm outlining most of this and adding a couple little dashes here and there. And then across that center, I'm going to be adding lines, splitting it up into sections, and then filling in areas to make little trapezoids all around, like you could see it. Um, do a little bit more outlining, and I'm going to add a couple more details with blue. And of course, add a layer of top coat. If you are using a gel sealer or a gel top coat, make sure that you cure it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!